Why, hello there. Please sit down. Would you care for something to drink? I'm practicing my manners. Thank you for being here today and for being such a good friend. <laughs> manners are hard sometimes, huh? Has your mom ever said to you, what do you say? I'll give you a hint. The answer is thank you. When someone gives you something, it's polite and good manners to say thank you. You know, our story is about some men who forgot to say thank you. Jesus gave them an incredible gift. Would you like to hear it? Great! Everywhere Jesus went, people crowded around. But one day, some men stood off to the side. Why were these men off by themselves? They looked like they were sick. Of course, they were lepers. Ten sick men. They raised their voices and called out, Jesus, have mercy on us. Lepers were people who had a disease called leprosy. Lepers had to live outside of town. They couldn't live with their friends or their family. This kept well people from catching leprosy. In those days, there was no medicine to cure leprosy. There were no doctors who could make lepers well. Only Jesus could heal a leper. Jesus loved the lepers. Go see the priest, he said. The priests were the ones who said whether or not lepers were well and could go home. The ten lepers believed Jesus could make them well. So they turned to go see the priests. And as they walked away, they were healed. Imagine how happy those ten men must have been. They were well. Jesus had healed them of leprosy. They could go home and live with their families. If someone gives you a gift, what do you say? Right, you thank that person, you say thank you. Do you think healing from leprosy is a great gift? Yes, Jesus had given all 10 men a great gift. Do you wanna know something strange? Only one man thanked Jesus for their healing. The tenth man was glad to go back to Jesus. He was well. This one man loudly praised God as he went back, and he fell at Jesus' feet and thanked him. He could go home to his family. He could hug his family. He could shake hands with his friends. Jesus had made him well. Jesus was glad to see one man come back and thank him. But he had a question. Were not all ten healed? Jesus asked. Where are the other nine? Only one man thanks Jesus for his healing. Only one man did what we should do. What do you think that is? Yes, we should thank Jesus for the good things he does for us. God has given us life. He's given us people around us who love and care for us. We are so blessed and we have so much to be thankful for. So who are you more like? Are you like the nine who ran off? Or are you the one who came back to give thanks? Why don't we thank God right now? Would you like to pray with me? Great. Clasp your hands so you're not distracted and close your eyes so you can focus. Repeat after me. Dear Jesus, we thank you for all you have done. You have blessed us with so many good things. Help us to never forget that they all come from you. Thank you. And we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Are you ready for our memory verse? It's found in the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. It says, In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God. How can we make this verse stick in our minds and in our hearts? I know. Why don't we try some rhythm? Here, try this. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God. You want to try that again? All right. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God. Let's do it one more time. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God. Awesome. Do you think you can do it? Let's hear it. Ready? One, two, three. Wow, good job. Great remembering. You know what? I have a great idea. We already prayed and thanked God, but why don't we thank someone in our family? Is there anything that you can thank someone for? I'm thankful for my parents. They do so much for me. They make sure I have everything I need. Food, clothes, a warm bed, even super fun stuff like some of my favorite toys. I'm so thankful for all they do for me. I'm so thankful. I think I want to make a thank you card for them. Would you like to make one too? Yay! Let's get started. So for a thank you card, you can use anything you want. Anything that you have in your house can make a card. All you need is some paper, maybe something to write with, but you can be as creative as you like. So I'm going to take this piece of construction paper and I'm going to fold it in half. Just like that. And so this will be our card. And on the front of the card, I think I'm going to write, thank you and maybe a big heart to show my parents how much I love them. So I'm going to start with maybe this pretty blue color. I'm going to write in big letters. Thank you! Exclamation point. Just like that. See it? All right, now I'm going to draw a big, pretty heart in the middle. Look, what do you think? Okay, and on the inside, I'm going to write a message to them. Maybe I'll say, thank you. for everything you do. I love you. Yeah, that looks good. Now, you know what would make this the best card ever? Glitter. I love glitter. All right. So I am, well, first, you should probably, whenever you use glitter, your parents will really like it if you use something like this or a plate, so that way the glitter doesn't get everywhere. My daddy hates glitter, but it's so pretty. All right. So I'm just going to outline the heart with some glue. And then set up and sprinkle the glitter. Sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. So pretty, just wait till you see. Okay, are you ready? Just shake off everything that's left over. Look at that! I think my parents are going to love it! Wow! Let me see your 
Wonder card. My goodness, that's so beautiful. They're really going to appreciate a card like that. Wow. Well, I'm so thankful that you could join me today. Can I say a blessing over you? It's like a special prayer. Hold out your hands like you're about to get a big present. Are you ready? May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord smile down on you and show you his kindness. May the Lord answer your prayers and give you peace. We'll see you next time. Bye!